Day two, January 30th, 2023. Started the day early. We woke up at an ungodly hour. Did you wake up before the alarm too? I did. Yeah, I think we all did. Set alarms early and we all woke up before them. <laughs> the tortilla factory was particularly loud this morning. <laughs> so we crunchy. woke up in Curzal and decided to leave at six. Luckily, grandma and grandpa were ready and up and at it, nice and early. So I think we literally, I wanna say I looked at the clock and we left at like 6.01. Everything was on time this morning. We drove all the way to, where did we have breakfast? Belmopan. So that was like two hours, maybe two and a half hours to Belmopan. And didn't really have any hiccups there. Nothing nothing much to talk about there. Just a bunch of bumps. Bunch of bumps. In the back seat, took turns sleeping. Took turns sleeping. We did a little bit of crossword. There's a lot of the... But uh, I just started dozing off every time I got the crossword out. <laughs> and then we slightly missed the turn to... Boom, cut off. But nothing crazy. Then we got to Belmopan and had breakfast at a little... What was that, a market? Yeah. A local breakfast? What would you call that? Just a little, it's not a restaurant. It wasn't a restaurant. It's the part of the market that actually does just. It was like the food court. Food court. Yeah. It's the, their it the version of the food, food court. court. <laughs> the food court in a parking lot. They, they, they all they all had about five seats available. Yeah. Well, this really nice lady served us. We had fried jack with ham and eggs and giant possum. And there was a giant possum that just popped out out of nowhere and scared the crap out of our waitress twice. Um, so that was entertaining. And then grandma couldn't leave without her coffee, so she put it in one of those, like they serve coffee out of a jar. Like That's a, cafe mug. Uh, yeah. Yeah. They serve, you know, uh, what? Uh, instant coffee. Instant, instant coffee. coffee. Thank you. It was out of a Nescafe instant coffee. And so she's like, well, can I just take one of the jars? <laughs> and the gal looked at her like, okay. but, And then she's like, that's going to be a little bit stronger. <laughs> Anyways, she proceeded to drink the coffee later in the day, and I'm sure she's not going to throw out the jar. So everything gets reused here. It's going to be um, reused for pepper sauce. Yeah, yep. it's going to be reused. <laughs> Which grandma's going to forever. Teach Andrew how to do it. Yes, I'm going to learn how to make pepper Pickle sauce. Pepper sauce. Apparently. So, breakfast was good, and then we jetted off to Cayo, drove all the way to here, which we are at the Casilla Resort. Casilla Hills. Which we stayed at in 2014 with Charlie and mom. But uh, it's a little bit different now. As you can see, we are, we're actually in the pool area. And there's a bar that I'm assuming used to be an actual like full service bar. But it just kind of feels deserted. The bar that was next to the check-in place, we played pool and had a drink or two. Um, just kind of hung out with music and chatted with some of the other people that were staying here. Um, literally looks like a scene out of a horror film. Okay, so here's coming down the path to the bar. Kind of in shambles. Which is weird, it used to have a lot of life. Charlie and I played pool on this thing for hours. Got drinks at the bar. There were chairs all over here, tables all over here. Now it's just kind of been let go. Got hit by Hurricane Martinez. That's all it takes. We've seen one other couple with a couple of small children here but they've never even come within like 20 feet of us so anyways we checked in here found out we couldn't check in until two so then we got to San Antonich by I mean we we're on the ferry by like 11 11 30 maybe maybe yep. ish um, and then we just kind of did our tour of the ruins <laughs>
time. I was I was hoping that we were going to do some ritual sacrifice, but yeah. Jordan that decided he would fit in with the Mayan if I lifestyle. <laughs> lived back then and I was a little bit darker, I would have made a wonderful Mayan king. Your thoughts on the Mayan ruin tour today? I would have made an amazing Mayan king. That's first and foremost. Wow. <laughs> amazing analysis right <laughs> off the bat. Why? Uh, you know, just the, the general ruling with an iron fist, not caring what people actually think. You were all about that sunken in patio too. Loved the idea of just sitting on a patio all day long. By yourself? I mean, just somebody giving me drink and wine and grapes. Is there, should I, tell I mean, me that doesn't sound great. You would have fit in just great. Keeping all the plebeians away from me. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I think I could do it. Yeah, Although until that six foot woman would have <laughs> beat yeah, the, the six foot warrior <laughs> queen comes and I'm like, nope, I'm out. But he is going to visit the Puck the Puck sport because puck the puck. He, would the wanted, puck. he would have wanted to win in the Puck the Puck back in the day. So he could be a, a sacrifice. Be the sacrifice. sacrifice. How would you choose, choose to, to be die. executed? It's either you take the the knife to the head uh -huh. or whatever, uh -huh. the special made knife, okay. or you take the slit your rib cage and pull your heart out. They said they took a stingray barb and opened I'm, you up like that. They that's not what the stingray barb was for. Uh, I think you remember what the stingray barb was for. <laughs> oh <laughs> my <laughs> goodness! I mentioned. Yeah, no, that's we're not going that's there. That's a different thing. We're not going there. My bad. Um. I think, I mean, it. pain aside, I think seeing your heart out of your body would be a bizarre experience. That would be <laughs> very interesting. But Kind of like the guy that got guillotined and he just kept blinking. Right. I think the decapitation would be faster. Yeah, I, I, so I sign me up for okay. that. Okay. Well, I'm not going to sign you up, but. No, I mean. Push if comes I to have, shove, right. I'll, I'll put your if name If I up. win the Puck the Puck World World Cup that's coming up here, we were told well, by Louise. It's, they, it's happening said, in they said Orange the, Walk. The puck to puck game would take, you know, <laughs> one to two days or one day to a week or yeah, whatever yeah. it was. And we decided that nobody wanted to win. Nobody wanted to win, so that's why it was drug the winner, out. The winner gets sacrificed. The winner gets sacrificed, so. Anyways, we uh, saw some iguanas. We saw iguanas do uh, unspeakable acts. Yeah. Saw some soldiers with some N16s, mm -hmm. just kind of casually patrolling the ruins. I think that has to do with, let's just do with border proximity, right? With Guatemala. Yeah. Good tour. We probably were there for two and a half hours ish. Yeah. Two hours, two and a half. Yeah. And then we came back across on the ferry, got in the car, and we went right across the street to a place called Benny's Kitchen. Benny's Kitchen. But I don't know. Oh. Yeah. Where are we at? Uh, Benny's. Benny's Kitchen. <laughs> and Benny's Kitchen was bomb. Yeah. I had stewed chicken with rice and beans. Jordan had pork that was cooked underground. underground. Very cool. And uh, they were basically a little little taquitos, little street tacos. We're good. Salutes. We had a lot of appetizers. Salutes, <laughs> garnachas. We probably got like five or ten of each thing. I don't remember what it came out to be, but, you know, four meals plus all those appetizers. Everybody had a drink of some sort, and somehow we wound up spending 35 U.S. for all that. So, you know, I think it has to do with Joe Biden not being in charge of Belize. Then we went and checked in here officially, packed grandma and grandpa up in their room, got them situated, and then they kind of just said, yeah, we're pretty much done for the day, which is fair. <laughs> uh, grandma kind of stayed back while we did the whole tour and did her cross stitch and made a she bunch seemed, of friends. She seemed to have made a lot of friends. <laughs> we came back to her and she was like, oh, what'd you bring me? Hello, guys. Hello. Did you bring anything for me? What? Did you bring anything for me from out there? So yeah, I uh, came back here and did some crossword by the pool for a couple hours, had a few beers, and then just kind of, uh, we're just taking it easy for the night. Again, 
this is a way different vibe than it was eight years ago. Well, to be fair, it's really late right now. Yeah, I mean, we're exhausted. It's uh, 7.15. 7.15. <laughs> Which means it's 5.15 in Seattle right now. And oh, we are boy. like getting ready to curl into bed and call it a night. So that was day two. Um, anything I gloss over? No. Any details was, we missed? That was great. Any last thoughts? He did encounter some new birds. There was, there yeah, was we, a lot of new birds, birds today. A lot of new birds. Speckled feathered warblers. Warblers. <laughs> <laughs> Every time Jordan gets a new bird, he'll ask us, what does it look like to yeah. you? And we'll just BS some name. I think my favorite part, though, is now Grandma and Grandpa are both, oh, look, oh, there's yeah, a look, bird, there's get a, a picture, bird. there's a bird, get a picture. It's almost like a dog with a squirrel. <laughs> oh, Jordan, they're coming over to you. <laughs> yeah, the bird thing has become a lot of fun for everybody. That's been good. Day two, did you think that there'd be this much activity in the first 50 hours? I honestly feel like I've been here a week. <laughs> Hopefully that's for good reason. I think so. <laughs> but uh, here we are. Yeah, we still have uh, 12 We've days got to go. Quite a ways to go. And I'm like, wow. Lots of birds to discover. Lots of birds to discover. Yeah, I mean, we're, your total is up to what? Like nine, I've, 10? I've already at least seen 12 new species. 12 new species in the last two we days. We are two days in. Yeah. So we're on a good trek. Uh, more to come tomorrow. And uh, yeah. Yeah, probably going to go to bed now yeah. at 7.15. Because we're so. old and we do crossword puzzles by the pool and then go to bed at 7.15. Good night. Oh, boy. See you on Tuesday. Cut. <laughs>